Dr. Shutam Kharji, Senior Psychologist at Kaleidoscope, a mental wellness center. In today's episode, we are going to learn how can one achieve happiness and be content in life. Happiness is a state of great satisfaction that one achieves at the particular moment of fulfillment of a goal, wish or a desire during or after a situation or event. It is the combination of the well-being and your day-to-day life. Unhappiness is the breeding ground of physical, emotional and psychological issues. In our mundane life, we often forget to take out time for ourselves and keep extremely busy. So it's very important to choose the happiness road each day. It promotes a healthier lifestyle, engaging you in the flow, freedom from overthinking, purpose to a new day each day. If you're happy, you make a happier environment wherever you go. Happiness will help us achieve those cherished goals and ambition in life and motivate people around you and be an indirect force for their happiness and joy in life. Money is the only source of happiness. Your happiness is connected to your surroundings. Each plays a major role in your happiness. Men are more happier than women. Marriage or children will make you happy. Happiness is a destination. Everyone can derive happiness to the same path. One has to be happy all the time. Smile is the only indicator of happiness. And simple life will make you happy. Characteristics of happy individuals. Healthy living. High well-being. Have a more positive outlook towards life. Energetic. Are less stressed. Improves your daily life have a healthy heart, are mindful about the present, boost immunity, better appetite, increase longevity, have a strong immune system. Live a longer life, more creativity, have a positive aura around them, have less tendency to fall in depression, better decision making power, improved interpersonal relationships, resilient individual, stronger social connection, makes you a healthier person, Decreases the risk of cardiovascular disease. Proactive. Try and think positive. Give yourself a positive self-talk every day and preach it. Show some appreciation. Some appreciation should be given to self on achieving even little milestone. Create little dreams. Life is ups and downs, so give credit to yourself for things you do. One minute rule. Do at least one thing for one minute each day that makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Pursue your dreams and think about the things you love and follow them. Live life to the fullest. Enjoy every moment and every second of your life. The art of letting go. Free yourself from the negative thoughts and judgments. Practice gratitude. Be thankful for whatever you have in life. Build self-esteem. Be the author of your own destiny, which is the main component of happiness. Be the anchor of your life. Take control of your doings and your actions. Practice mindfulness. Be mindful of the situations you get yourself into. Don't overthink. Overthinking will only extend you the misery snatching away the happy moments too. Rationalize your thoughts. Don't think too negatively to kill the good moments. Practice compassion. It is the power to change things around you and promotes inner happiness. Find your happy place. Be it a person, have activity, food or a place that makes you happy. Nature for a quieter brain. Go out for a walk, take a sand bath or walk on the grass. Well, happiness is free from the foundations of age, gender, color, space, religion, poor or rich is a state of inner self that achieves when you find contentment in little things in life and also understand that no one or nothing will make you happy until you are happy from the inner and happy within yourself. The greed for more will be there but all we need is to learn, be satisfied with the things that actually takes place in day to day life each minute, each second. A happy life is also sometimes called as a choice worthy life. And it is simply the individual who picks the sort of life he needs to spend, the sort of qualities, morals, ethics, regardless of whether to include the gifts throughout everyday life and be cheerful or rather monk about what is missing. 
Hence, happiness should be the vital goal of an individual's life. I'll see you all next week with another very interesting episode. Till then, keep smiling and spreading happiness. Thank you.